observations of how Adrian's been playing? Uh, you know, I, I think he's been, um, you know, I think he's been cautious. I think he's been trying to take things, you know, as they come. Um, you know, I think we've, he and I both have been kind of getting a feel for, uh, you know, each other, some of the things we're trying to do, um, you know, and, and uh, uh, I, I know, and, and I know he would, you know, probably agree he hasn't, he hasn't played his best game yet, you know, by, by any stretch, but, uh, you know, I think we're just continuing to push through and, and uh, you know, keep working together. Cautious side when trying to correct some of the mistakes he's had. Uh, you know, I mean, I think uh, it's those 50-50 plays are hard. You know, because it's and even as a coach, and I remember as a player, you know, it's how do you how do you walk that line of of pulling the trigger when you need to, being cautious when you know uh, you know when you need to, and and uh, you know that's probably even as as much my fault as anything of of trying to just make sure that. You know of uh, you know that he doesn't feel any any pressure that way, and uh, you know that's, that's probably as much on me as anything. You know of of trying to uh, let it be organic and you know to, totally on him. But uh, we're again we're working through it. I got 100% faith in him, and and you know obviously we got to get better. And obviously, quarterback isn't the whole thing on offense. What else no. kind of stalled against? Well, you know it was uh, when something. When it happened like it did, it's it's never just one thing, it's never just one person, it's never just one position group, and and unfortunately, you know we kind of all took turns uh, on on some level and uh, in, in some facet of the ball game. I mean, you know, got in some lost yardage plays for a, a plethora of reasons, and and again are in third and eleven plus four times, you know, uh, weren't able to stay on the field when we were able to sequence a, a third and long to a fourth and short we're not able to stay on the field there and you know and then we go you know for four on second or third and in two to three you know and and so we just we have to find ways to stay on the field and and whether it's a call a block a read a throw a catch I mean whatever it is we, you know we got to find a way to do it because uh you know we have to keep those drives going we have to finish and score touchdowns in the red zone and and uh obviously you know be a lot better Play caller watching so many third manageable fourth downs uh, get get turned away. You know, I, I think it was uh, shoot. It, it was a hard day on all of us. You know, I mean, I was. Uh, we were all. I think just staying the course and being patient. You know, because I think um, you know when things aren't going right, I think it's easy to get frustrated and out of rhythm, and that can make things worse. You know, and so I think uh, just making sure that all of us. Uh, myself included, stay patient, stay focused, and, and focused on those little things that that good teams do, and that you got to do in those critical situations to be successful. How do you establish rhythm, especially going up against this Oklahoma defense? Uh, that's that's going to be our challenge. You know, that's that's what we got to do, and and uh, uh, they they make that hard on purpose. I mean, you know, there's a reason he's one of the Coach Venables, and and what he's done for a long time is is as good as is out there, and. Uh, Provide a lot of different fronts, a lot of different coverages to to mix and match with those fronts and uh, pressures and and uh, you know you can tell uh, you know they match his his uh, mindset and mentality by being aggressive and, and playing very very high energy uh, uh, you know brand, branded defense and tackle well and, and everything so it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, the biggest thing is again we have to. Uh, they're they're going to make plays, you know. Obviously, they're they're a very very good defense. We have to get out of our own way and make sure that we're we're doing what we need to do when we need to do it consistently, and uh, that's where that rhythm and confidence comes from. From a personnel standpoint, Oklahoma's got a lot of big, strong, physical guys on the defensive line, but then really fast guys on the outside and behind them. How do you attack that? Well, you know, it's uh, uh, you know we have to again do those simple fundamental things very very well. I mean, we can't uh, we, we can't we got to stay on blocks. Um, you know, we have to go through good reads and make quick decisions with the football. You can't hesitate because you hesitate, they're either going to get you up front or or something's going to come you know uh, out of the corner and in, in in the back end. So. Uh, you know, but again, uh, I got confidence in our guys, and, and you know we got a lot of good players uh, as well, and, and excited for the challenge. Talk there about 
doing quick things with the football and hitting on the easy things, how important is it to just open up a short, quick hitting passing game with slants, curls, outs? Yeah, I mean, it, again, it, it doesn't matter what what we do. It's it, it's how we do it, you know, and, and making sure that, uh, you know, I tell our guys all the time, it's uh, just making sure that we're all on the same page and, and finishing, you know, uh, finishing the deal. So, but again, I got I got great confidence in our guys. Given the level of exotics that Venables can throw at an offensive coordinator, how much does that keep you on your toes? Uh, a lot. I mean, you know, I mean, it's it's been a, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it, it's been a good prep. I think it's it's already uh, it, it it'll make us. It, it has it has already made us better. It will make us better. You know, whenever you go through challenge and adversity, when when handled correctly, uh, makes you better. You know. The backside pursuit seemed to get to you guys a lot last week. Is that something that fullbacks, tight ends, you got to clean up? You know, it, it all depends on the play and the scheme. You know that way, but you know, I, I think overall, I think we just have to, uh, you know, again, we have to be uh, be more physical and more fundamentally sound across the board. Colin, I'm curious. You just mentioned the prep, the complexities of it. You've always been in on the prep, but now you're in charge of that. Is that fun? I mean, is this like chess to you, trying to figure out what pieces can match up? Oh, a- absolutely. I mean, it's it's, it's you know, absolutely. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, uh, you know, it can be stressful at times for sure. But I mean, that's that's why you love trying to put that you know that puzzle together and and try to figure out you know how to again maximize and, and stay efficient in your time, so you're not. Uh, spending time where you shouldn't or, uh, you know, vice versa. So it's, you know, um, you just got to uh, keep keep fine-tuning and, and, and making sure that we're sound for our guys. The task with Oklahoma not necessarily even knowing what kind of base defense they want to deploy, kind of a different different games. Uh, obviously, the, when you say diverse, it's 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 been a little bit different each each and every game, you know, and, and – uh, you look at even going back to all of his his history at, at Clemson. I mean, they, they did a lot of different things, you know, for for a lot of years. So it's obviously they got all of it. You know, you kind of uh, I think we'll get a feel for how he's going to play us, uh, you know, relatively early and and uh, you know have some things in place for to make sure that our guys are prepared and can play fast. On your fourth and short looks, do you have specific packages that need to be run out of a shotgun? Um, you know, it's, uh, yes and no. I mean, there's, uh, you know, it all depends on what type of scheme you're running. You know, I think with, uh, being in the, the pistol or in, you know, or in gun, I think allows uh, a little bit more threat of, of the quarterback in some situations We can help, you know, can help gain you a number, but, um, you know, it all depends on the situation, the front and, and kind of what is needed at that time. More involved after three quiet games. Yeah, I mean it's you know there's uh, there's things that you know you can pretty much guarantee where the ball's going to go you know and then there's other times that you know that, that it hasn't you know and and uh, uh, I know Malik's been uh, you know he, he's been great he's been a great teammate but you're right you know we, we got to get and, and be able to spread the ball around and, and get people going. Explain what. Can you explain what, if any, freedom Adrian has at the line of scrimmage to make an alteration based off what his eyes are telling him? No, he does, and and I mean he he has the chalk glass for sure, um, you know, and and has done a good, uh, really pretty good job of that, you know, and and a lot of it. I mean, we don't just, you know, send him out there and say, hey, if you see something, do. I mean, there's certain uh, structures of this. You know, to this, this to that, and certain situations that we're looking for to help help give him some direction there. And and uh, I mean, he does a, he does a good job studying the game for sure.